Well, personally, I felt it was a good performance um, this afternoon. I guess Rovers, though, we, we know they can do better than they produced today as a team. Yeah, and no, I think um, I think when you look at our last um, performances against Bradford and Sheffield United, you know we pushed two of the best sides all the way. Uh, then we come to a, a struggle in Port Vale side. So to be fair to them, battled well, but I think you know we never really look at the opposition. I thought rightly, you know, the gaffer wasn't wasn't happy with us today. We, to be fair, we weren't happy with each other at all and the way we performed. But you know, a little bit of magic from Bodes gets us a gets us a point. You know, it could be valuable at the end of the season. But um, yeah, no, it wasn't good enough for us today you know we've got a great great um, away following as well but um, like I said it wasn't a great performance from us today and it was a game where you didn't need the manager to tell you the players know that um, they weren't at their yeah, best yeah it was I think it was just one of those you know where probably from start to finish you know we were sloppy in a passing um, going forward we were sloppy you know we made made some mistakes um, but you know I think it's part and parcel of the game but you know but every game, you know, we want to be performing like we were against Sheffield United and Bradford. You know, I think when you set the standard that high against, two, like I said, two of the best clubs in the league, um, yeah, when we come to teams maybe struggling a little bit, you know, we've got a bit more pressure on ourselves. Um, you know, we've got to perform better. We've got to, got to stand up and be counted, you know. And then, well, we felt we could have took three points today. But obviously our performance wasn't good enough and we um, ultimately got a point in the end. Was it the defender's nightmare, their goal, when the ball was whipped in and Bob Harris had to make contact? Yeah, and, um... yeah no, it was unlucky for Bob, to be fair. Um, you know, I thought we'd done well today, uh, coming first game. You know, it's never easy, I think. You know, obviously, four, three of the back four, I think, we obviously knew players. So, but we're not making excuses, you know. But um, obviously, it's just one, it's a great ball from there, lad, to be fair. And Bob's had to get someone, and, and <laughs> nine out of ten, you know, they'll just they'll fly over the bar for you. But unlucky for Bob, it's um, gone in the top corner. But um, I thought we reacted well um, and ended up getting a point out of it. Yeah, I'd lost Joe Partington early on, Tom Lockyer at half time, so there was more yeah. than a bit of reshuffling at the back. You had Stuart Sinclair at right back today. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that probably sums up Cinco, you know, I think he's just full of energy, you know, enthusiasm. He's, he was brilliant, he's been brilliant since I've come in. Um, you know, obviously, sl obviously slotting at right back for, oh, I think it was the whole, basically the whole game. Brilliant, I thought um, Johnny Byrne when he came on was brilliant as well, his first game in a while. Yeah, so um, I think all the. We've got um, people that can adapt to new positions. So, um, yeah, I thought Cinco had done brilliant at right back. Yeah, when he had to. And that embarrassing you. Um, you've started very well at Bristol Rovers. The fans have taken to you. Are you pleased with your form since joining the club? Yeah, yeah, I think um, I've started well, but obviously um, it's only a good start. You know, my feet are firmly on the ground. Uh, you know, it's only five games. But, um, like I said, I think I've done I've done all right, to be fair, since I've come in. Um, you know, the fans have been brilliant, you know. Like I mentioned, the away support, um, I think we had like 600, 700 at Rochdale the other week. So, it's brilliant, you know, if they can keep getting behind us over in, until the end of the season, you know, who knows, we you know, we can maybe sneak in the top six. Your ambitions long-term must be playing the Premier League eventually. Yeah, no, of course. I think it's um, every lad's dream, to be fair, to play in the Premiership. Um, but obviously, I'm, I'm here for Bristol Rovers at the moment, not only to improve, but I want to help the club move forward. Um, so, so yeah, hopefully we can keep kicking on and doing well. And finally, after that's a Stoke player against Port Vale. Um, you must have feared the reaction, but the fans went light on you today, didn't they? Yeah, they were right too. I don't think I got too much stick. You know, a couple of challenges flying in, but you know, it's part and parcel of football. So, no, I enjoyed it.